try them for sure. Hi everyone, it's Monica with Kids Lids for my journey to a happier, healthier me for today, which is Thursday. <laughs> Hold on a second. Actually, I think today's the seventh. Thursday, October the sixth. Sorry, I dropped my phone and I'm trying to charge it before I go to bed, so I gotta make sure it's charging. Yeah, it's charging. Okay. Um, I just got in like twenty minutes ago. Um, I went to my uh, Wait No More group tonight. It was really good. And um, so let me tell you about the food that I made today first. So for breakfast this morning, I decided to make the um, vegan oatmeal muff cakes. And I'm so dirty. I know it's fabulous. <laughs> And I made the chocolate peanut butter icing, but I used the Wow School Safe No Peanut Nut Butter. No nut butter. No nut butter. It's made with soy. Have I showed it before? I think I've showed it before. Yeah, I'll get it anyway. Okay. And it's just the nut butter, no nut butter, and the same as when I made the peanut butter. So no nut butter, cocoa, almond milk, and icing sugar. So this, for those of you who cannot take peanuts to school, which generally nowadays is like every school, right? It's peanut free. It is wow. Safe for school. See that? Safe for school. Wow. Butter. And it is really cool. Um, it's peanut butter replacement. Gluten free for those gluten free folks out there. Ingredients. Toasted soy. 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 Oil. Granulated cane sugar monoglyceride from vegetable oil, sea salt, and that is it. Made with non-GMO Canadian toasted soy. Ooh, I wonder if you guys can get this then. And it's made somewhere called Staffa, Ontario. Never heard of it. It so, tastes amazingly like peanut butter. It's kind of really funky, honest to God. It has so, a little bit of a grainy consistency though. Yeah, because it's made with beans. So, here's the inside of it, like a regular peanut butter. Like, seriously? And it's even got, like, a peanut buttery smell. It's really funky. So, this was, how much for this jar? Six bucks, I think. Six dollars. So, it is way more expensive than peanut butter, because we can get a little jar of peanut butter like this, like, for a dollar on sale. On sale. But if your kids are allergic to peanut butter, obviously, you have no choice. And it's really good. And um, the other reason why I used this today was in case Marina wanted to take it to school and we had no peanut butter. So it's source of omega-3 polyunsaturates made in a 100% peanut, nut, gluten, and dairy-free facility made with natural ingredients. Wow. And it says refrigeration not required. It is, what else? Partially peel back jar label, cut out and... Apply logo to school lunch container. Oh, that's so cool. So, you can actually put this little label here on your kid's lunch. So that if you say to your child, you know, you're bringing peanut butter to school. Your kid's like, ooh, I got peanut butter for school and they feel so special. Then, so that the teachers know that it's safe, you can put this little label on it, right? So, let's read the nutrition facts per one tablespoon. 100 calories. It's pretty much the same as peanut butter. Eight grams of fat. Um, 3.5 grams of omega-6. 0.5 of omega-3s. 3% sodium, which is like massive if you can get something with that low amount of sodium. That was a contradiction. Massive and low. Um, 1% of carbohydrates, 4% of fiber, 2 grams of sugar, 4 grams of protein, 2% of calcium, and 4% of iron. So I'm loving it. Loving it. And I didn't make the icing too thick this time because we made it like really, really thick the other day. And I'm, I'm waiting for my cupcake because I want to. So I had that for breakfast and then I packed, um, I made the glass noodles with the tofu that I was telling you about last night and I put Korean barbecue sauce and soy sauce. So good. Oh my gosh. With some shredded carrots in it. Loved it. Marina loved it too. So that was fabulous. And I, I packed a salami sandwich. A salami wrap. My, well, 
much. Right. It's long um, and then I had... What did I have? I had some kind of fruit today. Grapes. I think. I don't remember. No, I had two bananas. I had two bananas. Um, did not, sorry, go to the gym today. Because, you know, that my, that's, it's my time of the month and I don't want to go to the gym because it's kind of gross for me. But anyway, it's up to you if you can go. Um, so much of sharing to watch on. TMI, right? Yes. But hello, I told them the whole story of yesterday. Yeah, but you don't have to keep talking about it today. Oh, well, just a little bit of information for those of you who aren't grossed out by it. Like, so you might want to skip a couple seconds. I'm glad I was wearing black pants today. Just put it that way. Otherwise, I would have been coming home early. So, um... Tell that I carry pads and the fact that you didn't have any. No, 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 no. No, that was yesterday. Today, I had some because I packed like 12 of them in my bag. It's just... You know, things happen. So, um, in our ECE class today, we were talking about how much fun we're going to have. Next Thursday, we're in the workshop room, and we're going to be, like, playing and, and doing all kinds of activities, and it's so exciting. Um, so, at the Wait No More group tonight, um, I... I love this group. So we eat now as soon as we get there, right? So that, you know, because everybody's been on the go all day and the kids have been on the go all day and everybody's hungry. So. Hi, guys. Wait. Look at it. Although it's covered with icing now. Isn't that beautiful? This, my friends, is a vegan muff cake. <laughs> so it is one and a quarter cups of oatmeal soaked in one and a quarter cups of almond milk for about 15 minutes. And then I also mix one tablespoon of ground flaxseed with three tablespoons of water and let that sit during that time as well, because that's my egg replacement. And then you add in, wait, I have to, I have to take a bite because it smells so good. It's 9.45 at night and I'm eating a muff cake. It's beautiful. And then you add in some, um, <laughs> I'm just going to keep eating it. No, you're not. <laughs> this is Kevin's. Half? Don't. I'm not. Oh, okay. Calm down. You think I'm eating the whole thing and look how much is left. I know that you're going to eat the whole thing. So, um, yeah, and then you put, I put melted vegan margarine. I'll just take that off my shirt. <laughs> I'm famous for catching things with my boobs, just letting you know. So why wreck tradition? So yeah, so then you mix in um, brown sugar, like a teaspoon of salt. I never put a full teaspoon, though. There's and salt in the margarine anyway. There is. And then um, flour and the egg replacement. I think I said that already. Yeah. And then um, you cook them for 25 minutes. Now, personally, we use the big, huge muffin things, as you can see, um, just because I think that that's really cool. Um, but I do find that I started putting parchment paper on the very, very bottom of the pan. So I just cut little circles and put them on. And it works brilliantly. So... Um, I wanted to say that school today, in Looney's, the Seneca Student Foundation had turkey dinner. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. It was like a little buffet line and they were serving it. So when you first get there, there's a big huge donation water jug thing. So it was if you could afford it, you could donate and if not, completely free it doesn't matter because what they do is they put that money back into the programs it's so cool so they had little bottles of water um fresh buns you could have uh white or dark and then they had turkey same white or dark they had mashed potatoes they had um mixed veggies which was like green beans yellow beans and 
I think carrots or something. I don't know. I just was throwing it all on a plate. They were throwing it on a plate for me. They had stuffing. They had um, gravy. They had uh, cranberry sauce. And then they had three different types of pie. They had apple pie. I think it was some kind of berry pie, like bumbleberry pie or something. And then they had pumpkin pie. So I got them a piece of pumpkin pie. So I brought that home for them. And Marina just had some. And then Kevin will have his tomorrow. But I just wanted to show that. Like... How amazing is the school spirit at Seneca? Last week we had the Mexican Latin American days. So they had food on the two days that that was there. And then today, and I think maybe even tomorrow, they're doing this huge, huge Thanksgiving dinner for people. I think it's amazing. So, um, yeah, today was a wonderful day. I bought myself a new, well, I owe them for it, a new pedometer. And I'm so stoked. I'm going to try it tomorrow and I'll let you know how many steps I actually take in a day from the time that I leave my house until when I vlog my video because it counts for the whole day and at midnight it turns back to zero. That's really cool. That is very cool. Mm -hmm. It was $16 and so worth it because my little 99 cent piece of crap is a piece of crap. So it's going to the garbage or I'll probably donate it somewhere. Um... I think that's all I have to tell you. I didn't get any homework or anything back today or tests or anything because we're doing our two our two big tests on Tuesday. Stop. Our English essay is due on Wednesday. Thanksgiving, all weekend pretty much, so we're going to be crazy, crazy busy. And Kevin couldn't get a tofurkey today. <laughs> I'm a little upset about that, so I'm going to have to find out where I can get one. Maybe at Wholesome Foods or something. Yeah, anyway, check yeah. That's it. Totally love you guys. You rock. Look, it's the hand. Oh. Um, yeah. Dog's underneath me trying to catch the crumbs of me eating. <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a good time with your weight loss journey or whatever you want to call it. Your journey to a happier, healthier me like me. And I love you all so, so much. Thank you for watching. Please comment, subscribe, and like. Thumbs up. I love you all. Bye. Share your smile.